Hey guys, this is going to be a general relationship reading between Capricorn and Libra. And I'm saying general relationship reading because, you know, a couple things. General reading, so if your sun doesn't relate, you can always check out your moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. I'm posting all of the signs in different pairings, so, you know. And also general, so it, some of it may resonate, all of it may resonate. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know, and in the other sense, I have not put out any, like, I want this to be a um, new love. I haven't said I want this to be established love. And I haven't said, hey, this needs to be X love, like X is coming back in or whatever. So this is just going to be what it's going to be, right? It's just going to be relationship and whatever energy wants to pop up, it's going to pop up. So stay with the journey if you're along with it you know anyway let's go ahead and start so capricorn how you're feeling is the three of cups so with this person you're definitely celebrating this like you're really enjoying all that this relationship has to offer but i'm kind of getting the sense that just from how these cards are laid out though this is probably something newer because i mean even with these actions we have the knight of pentacles so slow and steady right like we're not too serious yet we're trying to see is this a good fit and with the page of cups being what you're hiding you're actually pretty excited about this you kind of want to make that love offer you kind of want to communicate how you feel and how much you're digging this person but yeah you don't know if the time is right right so with the queen of cups here being in your advice honestly i'm just kind of like you may be right about it not exactly being the right time i just like the queen of cups i should i should try to find the king of cups to show you but the king of cups is more adventurous right and the queen of cups is more reserved in this deck and that's kind of how it goes there's somewhere like the queen of cups has a lid over her cup and it's like she's has healed her emotions she understands her emotions and you know i i'm not saying you have to be a she for this to apply to you it's just queen of cups so she right so um she's still a very nurturing and sympathetic person it's just kind of like no one really gets to see what's inside her yet so this it may just be like a like let's <laughs> this may just be saying you're on the right track here slow and steady still being kind like still being kind and nurturing but just not like putting it all out there yet um type of energy that that is kind of what i'm getting here so uh you this may be early stage dating here and i i feel like i may be getting this advice just because of your comfort level like you may feel like a nudge to put yourself out there more but you're really not comfortable enough to do that and you know that's okay that's okay to need to go at your your own pace and if you're with someone who doesn't respect your pace or want to go at the pace you want to go at you know that's a compatibility issue if they rush you and you're uncomfortable with that and but they won't slow down you know that's that's compatibility issues you know so anyway let's go ahead and get into libra so libra with how you're feeling i think you really see potential in this with this ten of uh pentacles here you see this as someone you see capricorn as someone who could be a long-lasting partnership here right you see like a lot of potential in this relationship but with the actions you're taking with the knight of cups here now you may have good intentions but you may be biting off more than you can chew right you may be making promises that you don't intend to keep or that you will not keep right because the knight of cups is really focused on love and sometimes he just makes empty offers right empty promises the cup is just the it's non-existent here right says a lot of stuff maybe a little bit of a love bombing type of situation here but um and don't get me wrong that may not be 
your whole situation. It may just be in some aspects, but it's just like, are all your promises going to be kept? You know what I mean? Like, are you doing too much? Like, are you going to keep doing that? It's kind of that energy. Now, what's being hidden, it's funny because you both have the Page of Cups and what's being hidden. So, you're both hiding how you feel about each other, how you want to make an offer to each other. And, like, that kind of makes me wonder with the Nine of Cups, since you're hiding your feelings, like, are you just trying to seem like you don't have feelings then with that empty cup? Like your actions, like these sweet romantic gestures, you're just like, oh, you know, I do that for anyone. Like, oh, you're such a good friend. I just wanted to do that because, you know, we're friends or whatever, you know. Oh, I do that for anyone. You know, trying to play off the things that you do. It, it, could, it also has a little bit of that energy to it if the um, empty promises thing didn't resonate. So, with this magician thing, it, it's just kind of like in the advice. It's like, there's a little bit of a need for alignment here. It's like, what what do you want out of this? Because it seems like you do want this, but you may be sending mixed, sig mixed signals here. Um, doing really sweet things, making it not a big deal, or making false promises. However that resonates. Um, it, it's just... There's a little bit of a, like, I'm detached, but I'm actually attached. Or I'm overly attached, but I'm not gonna, and I'm actually not doing that much. Yeah, you know, something. There, there's something. You're either doing too much or you're acting like you didn't do anything when you did a lot. It's not, I, I don't know. There's, there's some sort of off-balance energy here that it's just like it needs to get right, basically. And it's like, what do you want out of this? And go after it like there's this gameplay in here why are we doing that but anyway let's go ahead and get the energy in between y'all okay so for the energy in between you guys we have if i can pick up the card we have the emperor so you both know what you want you both want each other that is like the goal here you both want stability with each other. Like, it kind of feels like you guys are solid. Like, you guys are each other's choice. There's a lot of passion here. And it, it, it's just like, why isn't that being said then? And with the outcome, we got the King of Goblets, which is like the King of Cups. And I just kind of see this being like, the emotions are finally out in the open and not, they're not being so much of a protectiveness over how you feel because it's kind of funny like libra had the knight um capricorn had the queen right and now the king's out here in between you guys and it's just like a strong and knowing how you feel not being scared to put it out there type of energy in between you two like recognizing this connection and not and not being so dependent on if they like you or not like okay you recognizing that they can't stir up your emotions like you know what i mean like if you don't give them that power it's being more comfortable with not being scared to like them i i don't know why that was so hard to get out. It's just like not being scared to like them. And I know Capricorn, I kind of said, you know, maybe you need time to, in space, you need to take it slow and that's fine. But with both of you having the Page of Cups, maybe you two need to talk about it with the advice being the Ace of Blades here. I think clarity needs to happen in this. Like Capricorn, you may be protective because of this energy going on with Libra that I, I'm kind of leaning towards the like acting like it ain't a big deal. Like, oh, I do that for my friends. Like, you know, I, I do that for anyone. Like, you ain't nothing special. <laughs> you know, that type of thing. Like, um, I, I'm kind of leaning more towards that, but maybe they're overextending over promising and you're just like what's going on like is this for real like is this really you i i don't know there's something about 
this talk that needs to happen. Like you guys both are feeling each other and you're not saying it and it needs to be said. So like it might be time. Now I'm not saying move in together or anything because this does feel new. But like, you know, tell each other you like each other. Like, dang, what are y'all waiting on? <laughs> Sorry. Um, that just came flying out of my mouth. But hopefully this resonates. Hopefully it helps. And y'all have a great day.